My 40 female husband 39 male admitted to me that he has been cheating on me with his cousin for a majority of our marriage. My husband's cousin recently was killed in a car accident three weeks ago. This has made my husband visibly depressed and a lot less like himself lately. Tonight when I got home from work he had our two kids go spend the night at his mother's place and had made us dinner. After dinner he sat me down and told me that I needed to prepare myself for what he was going to say. He then proceeded to tell me about his affair. To sum some things up he essentially had been doing sexual things with his cousin since she seduced him when she 13 and he was 16 this sexual activities went on through their adulthood up until he started to date me. After we got married things didn't happen between him or his cousin until around 4 years into our marriage when she supposedly convinced him to continue their sexual activities on the side. We've been married for a little over 15 years for context. This has continued up until 3 weeks ago as you can imagine. He told me to take it as I will and he'll accept anything I choose to do considering our marriage. His cousin apparently was a lot more than just some sex fling. I've never would have expected my husband to be cheating, he never did anything that would give it red flags like coming in late or leaving hair of another woman around. I'm at a standstill and not sure where to go from here. I haven't been able to say anything to him after he was so blunt about it. I'm still crying some now. I don't know where to go from where. Any suggestions are welcome. Your husband is a major asshole. Not only for cheating but also for not keeping his mouth shut after the affair would never have been found out. His coming clean is not about you but about him. It's not about saving or repairing your marriage because your marriage would never have been in trouble without his confession. This is your selfish husband wanting to get consolation for losing his second wife. In all honesty get a divorce from that asshole. I'm not even a part of this sub and I saw it and Ewok's husband is so yucky. He's also literally trash. I am pretty sure you're posting this here for permission to get the duck out. So here goes it's okay to leave him. Get the hell out of there. Had he been caught back then, he would have been charged with sex with a minor and have a lifetime record as a sexual offender. Throw the entire guy in the bin. Edit for all the Americans saying I'm wrong. I'm a Brit and a 16 year old sleeping with a 13 year old is illegal here. It's illegal for two children under 16 to sleep with each other. It is also illegal to sleep with your cousin, which is also gross and morally wrong might I add. Also I'd like to point out his defense he said to his wife she seduced me. I would like to see how that stands in a court of law anywhere. He married you because he couldn't have her. He's not the guy you married. You need to respect yourself enough to kick him out of your life. Second story. Sister 27 female had an affair 6 months ago and I banned her from my home after she brought her affair partner to Thanksgiving dinner trying to move forward with Christmas upon us. My sister and her husband 29 male had been married for 2 years, together for 5. If it's relevant, he is very well liked by our family and is an all around good guy. 6 months ago, he discovered that she had been seen and sleeping with someone else mid 30 ish m. The affair had been ongoing for about 3 months when it was uncovered. Their marriage is over and they are getting divorced. I guess for the better, there are no children involved. In an initial attempt to save the marriage, she swore to him and to everyone else that she had broken things off with the new man. However, we have always suspected otherwise. No one in our family had ever previously met this guy or even heard of him. Last month, I hosted our family for Thanksgiving dinner. While it might sound weird, the plan had been for both my sister and her soon-to-be ex-husband to come here my sister both agreed with this. If only to give everyone a sense of normalcy especially the children I have two daughters. And our brother has a son they are all close with their uncle that is the husband. Unfortunately, the husband is a doctor and with only a couple of days notice he had to take on a shift that evening and couldn't make it I half suspect that he decided it might be too awkward after all and bailed and I can't blame him for that. So, Thanksgiving arrives and my sister shows up with her affair partner, declaring that now was a good time to introduce him to the family note that she has sworn several times over the past six months that she was no longer involved with him. However, they weren't alone they had also brought along his five-year-old daughter he has two children, with two different mothers the five-year-old and a ten-month-old. Yes, do the math he had a newborn at home and was out cheating on the mother of that child with my sister. I was livid, and fully prepared to kick them out, but couldn't do that in front of an innocent child. And I think that's exactly why they brought her along. As a result, all of us felt forced to endure this extremely awkward situation. Thanksgiving dinner basically proceeded in silence and everyone made excuses to leave as soon as possible. Our mother was near tears the entire time. As my sister was leaving, 
I took her aside and told her how disgusted I was with her stunt, and that she was to never bring him to my home again, and if she did, both of them would be asked to leave next time, regardless of whether they dragged one of his kids along with them, she argued, I argued back, it got heated, and I ended up telling her that she was simply not welcome at my house anymore, with or without him, I admit, I took it too far, however, in the days following Thanksgiving our argument got out she cried to our parents that I had cut her out of my life, I told people about what had happened, etc., and for the first while, I had everyone's support, it was generally agreed that what she had done was beyond the pale, however, now it's almost Christmas and I have my brother and our parents all asking if I've relented, and assuming that I wasn't serious and that Christmas family gatherings at my house, or elsewhere, would go on as normal. My sister has not once reached out to me since Thanksgiving to apologize or ask if she is welcome again, I feel stuck. I didn't really want to cut her out of my life like that and for what is his work. I don't think I have I only said I didn't want her in my home. I am more than willing to see her anywhere else. And I feel as if I have lost everyone's support for my actions. I also don't want to countenance her behavior after what she did at Thanksgiving or her new relationship with her affair partner. Call it stubbornness or pride. But I feel she should at least try to apologize before I accept her back. Too long didn't read my sister cheated on her husband and after swearing that everything was over with her sketchy affair partner, she brings him to Thanksgiving dinner and expects everyone to accept him we don't. Things got heated and I banned her from my home, just trying to figure out what I should, or can, do next. Third story, my 29F husband 30M helped cover up his friend's affair and can't understand why I'm angry at him. For context my husband and I have been together for 7 years. He has a best friend Liam 30 who is married to Eleanor 31 and they've been together longer than us. I've been friends with Eleanor almost as long as I've known my husband. I met her through my husband Liam, a month ago. My friend called me in tears to tell me she found out her husband was having an affair. She confronted him and he swore he would end things and focus on their marriage. Two days ago, her and Liam called my husband to ask him to confirm. Liam was going to spend the evening with him. My husband said he was. I know he was lying because we had plans that evening so I confronted him about it. He got defensive and said he was only helping his friend out and it wasn't a big deal because he only needed time alone and that Eleanor was too controlling. We got in an argument and eventually I asked him if he knew Liam had had an affair. He denied it but he's a bad liar. So I knew he was BSing. I asked him how long he's been covering for him, but he refused to answer any of my questions. When I told him I was going to let Eleanor know Liam wasn't going to be with my husband he got really upset and told me I shouldn't do that. We kept arguing over it and I eventually told him we should cancel our plans and he could really go hang out with Liam since helping him was so important to him. I ended up moving into the guest room and haven't really spoken to my husband much since. He keeps telling me he doesn't understand why I'm so angry since it's not like he was the one having the affair, but I really can't look at him the same way. How do I explain to him why I'm so upset with him? Am I overreacting? Too long didn't read my husband helped his friend cover up his affair, knowing I was friends with his wife. He now doesn't see why I think it's a big deal. I'd be pissed too. It's one thing to refuse to get involved in something like this, and another thing entirely to be actively involved in helping someone cover it up, and it's probably going to be very hard to explain to him because anyone with a head on, their shoulders knows this is ducked up. He knew that cheating was happening and that means he condones Eleanor being cheated on him. It might help to tell him that no one, no matter how annoying or bitchy or ugly or stupid they are deserves to be cheated on. It is a huge betrayal and something that seriously hurts the person who's being cheated on. His friend is exposing her to STDs by lying about where his dick has been and very seriously hurting his wife by doing this. Shouldn't Eleanor know this is happening so she can leave? She's such a bitch right? He'd be happier if his wife was gone. Right. Or wait. Cheating isn't about that, is it? Because if it was about not wanting to be with someone you'd, you know, end the relationship. Right. But that's not what your husband's pos friend wants. No no. He wants to duck both women. Because he's a selfish sack of shit regardless of the pity poor old me story he spun about how much of a meanie his wife is. But your husband apparently doesn't think that matters. He doesn't seem to care about the way this is hurting Eleanor. That, in and of itself is pretty callous and cruel. But okay. He said it's cause she's a controlling bitch. Does that mean if you're being a bitch one day that he's going to go out and cheat on you cause you're such a bitch? No. Oh so just Eleanor deserves to be treated that way. When did your husband start hating her that much? Or is he not intentionally trying to help hurt her? Does he just not feel any particular way about her? Your husband is really the kind of person that would go out of his way to hurt someone, just because. 
that's a special kind of cruel, isn't it? And if he's so comfortable lying for his friends someone would be actually pretty naive to think that the friend wouldn't return the favor. Both your husband and his friend have proven they've got a pretty, bankrupt sense of right and wrong. Your husband thinks not only is it okay to cheat but that it is expected and acceptable to cover up the cheating. How could you ever trust him again? It's almost like someone who thinks it's cool to cheat and cool to hide cheating is absolutely guaranteed to do it too. I mean, he already condones it in every other way so what's stopping him from doing it to you? Nothing. Literally nothing. And maybe your husband isn't the kind of great A piece of shit that cheats on his wife and gets his friends to help him lie about it but literally all evidence points to the contrary and you are not. At all. Unreasonable for hearing those alarm bells ringing in your head OP. Edit I've never a reward speech edits before but hot damn these are hard to keep up with and I'm a bit busy so thank you. To everyone who gave me an award. I would explain it to him like he is in Eleanor's shoes. Ask him how he would feel if he found out you were having an affair and Eleanor lied to him about being with you. I would add on something about how you feel like you can't trust either of them your husband and Liam anymore. If I were in your shoes I would worry about him hiding things from me and using Liam as a cover up just like they are doing to Eleanor. If he's comfortable lying to your friend and someone he's known for that long how could you trust he won't do the same to you? Hit like. If you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to our channel.